Have you ever woken up with the strangest feeling that something incredible just slipped through your fingers? That moment when you know you experienced something profound during sleep. But the harder you try to grasp it, the faster it vanishes into thin air. What if I told you that these lost dreams might be the key to unlocking mysteries about your mind that science is only beginning to understand? Welcome to a journey into the enigmatic world of lost dreams, where cutting-edge research reveals that what we forget might be more important than what we remember. Today, we're diving deep into the hidden mechanisms of your sleeping mind and uncovering why your most vivid nocturnal adventures seem designed to disappear without a trace. Picture this scenario. You wake up tomorrow morning with crystal clear memories of every single dream you've ever had. Every nightmare, every fantasy, every impossible adventure flooding back into your conscious awareness simultaneously. Sound amazing? Think again. Recent neuroscientific discoveries suggest this would be nothing short of a psychological catastrophe. Your brain operates like the most sophisticated security system ever devised, and dream forgetting might be its most crucial defense mechanism. While you sleep peacefully, your mind transforms into an entirely different entity. The logical, rational parts of your brain that keep you grounded in reality essentially shut down, while other regions explode with chaotic creativity and emotional intensity. During these nocturnal hours, you might experience flying through impossible landscapes, having conversations with people who died years ago, or finding yourself in situations that completely defy the laws of physics. Your dreaming mind accepts these impossibilities without question, creating elaborate narratives that feel absolutely real in the moment. But here's where it gets fascinating. The moment you begin to wake up, a remarkable process kicks into action. Specialized brain chemicals that maintained your dream state start to shift dramatically, essentially pulling down a curtain between your sleeping and waking consciousness. This isn't an accident or a design flaw. It's one of the most sophisticated protective systems your brain has ever evolved. Consider the alternative reality where dream memories persisted with the same clarity as your waking experiences. Imagine trying to distinguish between the conversation you had with your boss yesterday and the dream where you had wings and could breathe underwater. This blurring of boundaries between dream logic and real-world physics would create a mental chaos that could fundamentally compromise your ability to function in daily life. Researchers studying individuals with certain neurological conditions have discovered something alarming. People who retain unusually vivid dream memories often struggle with what scientists call reality monitoring. They have difficulty determining whether specific memories originated from waking experiences or dream states. This confusion can lead to serious psychological complications and demonstrates why dream forgetting serves as such a crucial mental safeguard. But the protective function of lost dreams extends far beyond reality maintenance. Your dreams aren't just random neural static. They're often intensely emotional experiences that can generate feelings of terror, euphoria, heartbreak, or rage with an intensity that rivals or even exceeds your waking emotional experiences. Now imagine carrying the emotional residue from every single dream into your daily life. You'd wake up each morning with a psychological backpack stuffed full of artificial emotions that have no basis in your actual circumstances. That grief from dreaming about a long-lost pet, the anger from a dream argument with a friend, the anxiety from being chased by imaginary monsters. These emotions would accumulate day after day, creating an overwhelming burden of feelings disconnected from reality. Studies tracking people who remember dreams more frequently have revealed something intriguing. These individuals often score higher on measures of emotional sensitivity and neuroticism. This correlation suggests that dream forgetting might serve as an emotional buffer, protecting most of us from the psychological turbulence that would result from retaining every emotionally charged dream experience. 
Your sleeping brain doesn't just create random stories for entertainment. It operates as an incredibly sophisticated information processing center, working tirelessly to sort through the massive amounts of data you encounter during waking hours. Think of your dream state as a cosmic filing system, categorizing experiences, strengthening important neural connections, and discarding unnecessary information. During this process, your brain replays significant experiences, strengthens memories that matter for your survival and success, and makes unexpected connections between seemingly unrelated information. This is why you sometimes wake up with the solution to a problem you've been puzzling over, even when you don't remember dreaming about it at all. The forgetting of dreams might actually represent the cleanup phase of this mental organization process. Once your brain has extracted and filed away the important elements from your experiences, the dream narratives themselves become expendable. Like deleting temporary files after a computer process is complete, Dream forgetting might free up mental resources and prevent cognitive overload. This theory gains support from research showing that people often wake up with enhanced creative problem-solving abilities after REM sleep, regardless of whether they remember their dreams. The creative benefits come not from remembering the dreams themselves, but from the mental processes that occur during the dream state. Speaking of creativity, some of history's greatest innovations reportedly originated from dreams. From groundbreaking scientific discoveries to revolutionary artistic works, dream inspiration has shaped human culture in profound ways. But here's the paradox that might surprise you. The most creativity-enhancing dreams might be the ones we only partially remember. When you wake up with just fragments of a dream, your conscious mind automatically begins filling in the gaps, creating new connections and possibilities that didn't exist in the original dream. This collaborative process between your dreaming and waking consciousness might be far more creative than simply remembering dreams in their entirety. Research has shown that people awakened during REM sleep demonstrate increased creative abilities, not because of what they remembered, but because of this unique mental state between dreaming and full wakefulness. This suggests that the partial forgetting of dreams creates an optimal condition for creative insight and innovation. The evolutionary perspective on dream forgetting reveals another layer of this mystery. Why would our brains evolve to create elaborate dream experiences only to erase them almost immediately? The answer might lie in the survival challenges our ancestors faced in prehistoric environments. Imagine early humans who became preoccupied with vivid dream memories while dangerous predators lurked nearby. The ability to quickly distinguish between real threats and dream scenarios would have provided a crucial survival advantage. By rapidly discarding dream memories, our ancestors could focus their attention on genuine environmental challenges rather than being distracted by fictional dream content. This evolutionary programming appears to persist today. Research shows that threatening or survival-related dream content is more likely to be remembered than neutral dream material suggesting our brains maintain a priority system that retains potentially important information while discarding irrelevant dream narratives. Your consciousness, that subjective sense of being you, requires constant calibration to maintain stability. Throughout each night, your brain cycles through dramatically different states of awareness, from light sleep to deep unconsciousness to the vivid, altered reality of REM dreams. Each state represents a completely different configuration of your consciousness. The process of experiencing these alternate states and then forgetting them upon waking might serve as a kind of consciousness reset button. By cycling through different levels of awareness and then clearing the cache through dream, forgetting, your brain ensures that your waking consciousness remains your dominant and stable sense of self.
people who remember too many dreams sometimes report feeling disconnected from reality or experiencing confusion about their identity. This suggests that dream forgetting plays a crucial role in maintaining the coherent sense of self that allows you to function effectively during waking hours. As we venture into the cutting edge of consciousness research, some scientists are exploring radical new theories about the nature of dreams and memory. Quantum physics has revealed that at the smallest scales of reality, particles can exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed. Some researchers propose that our brains might leverage similar quantum processes. In this revolutionary view, dreaming could represent a state where your brain explores multiple possibilities simultaneously, like a biological quantum computer processing infinite scenarios. The act of waking up and forgetting dreams might be similar to a quantum system collapsing into a single defined state upon observation. While this theory remains highly speculative, it opens up mind-bending possibilities for understanding consciousness and memory. If our brains do operate partially on quantum principles, then dream forgetting might be necessary to prevent cognitive overload from the infinite possibilities explored during sleep. But what about those rare moments when dreams do break through the forgetting barrier? Sometimes you wake up with a dream so vivid and meaningful that it stays with you for days, months, or even years. These breakthrough dreams often occur during times of significant life changes, emotional stress, or when you're grappling with important decisions. This selective remembering suggests that your brain doesn't forget all dreams indiscriminately. Instead, it appears to operate a sophisticated filtering system that occasionally allows particularly significant dream content to persist in memory. These remembered dreams might represent moments when your subconscious processing reveals insights too important to discard. The timing of when you wake up also plays a crucial role in dream recall. Dreams that occur closer to your natural waking time are more likely to be remembered, possibly because the neurochemical transition from sleep to wakefulness happens more gradually. This is why keeping a dream journal by your bedside can sometimes capture fragments that would otherwise disappear. Modern technology is beginning to offer new insights into the mysterious world of lost dreams. Advanced brain imaging techniques can now detect when someone is dreaming and even identify some general categories of dream content. Researchers have successfully decoded simple dream images from brain activity patterns, suggesting that dream content leaves detectable traces even when consciously forgotten. These technological advances raise intriguing possibilities for the future. Will we eventually develop methods to recover lost dreams from unconscious memory traces? Should we? The more we learn about the protective functions of dream forgetting, the more important these questions become. The implications extend beyond individual psychology to our understanding of human consciousness itself. If dream forgetting serves such crucial protective functions, what does this tell us about the nature of memory, identity, and reality? Are we fundamentally different people when we're dreaming compared to when we're awake? Some philosophers argue that dream forgetting represents a fundamental limitation of human consciousness, preventing us from accessing the full richness of our mental lives. Others contend that this limitation is actually one of our greatest strengths, allowing us to maintain psychological stability in a complex and often chaotic world. As we continue to unlock the mysteries of lost dreams, we're simultaneously unlocking deeper mysteries about ourselves. Every forgotten dream represents a unique cognitive adventure that shaped your brain in subtle ways, even if you can't consciously access the experience. These lost journeys contribute to your creativity, emotional regulation, memory consolidation, and overall mental health in ways we're only beginning to understand. The next time you wake up with that tantalizing sense of having experienced something extraordinary that's now just beyond your grasp, Remember that this forgetting might be one of your mind's most sophisticated protective mechanisms at work. 
your lost dreams aren't really lost at all. They've been processed, integrated, and transformed into the cognitive foundations that support your waking consciousness. Perhaps the greatest mystery isn't why we forget our dreams, but how our brains have evolved such an elegant system for balancing the creative chaos of sleep with the structured demands of waking life. In forgetting our dreams, we might be performing one of the most complex and essential psychological processes that makes us uniquely human. If this exploration of lost dreams has opened your eyes to the hidden complexities of your sleeping mind, imagine what other mysteries about consciousness remain to be discovered. The journey into understanding your dreams is really a journey into understanding the deepest aspects of what makes you who you are. Thank you for watching HIT, that like and subscribe button for more Echoes of Being.